lesson. So last lesson, we talked about how image work in combination with the browser. And in this lesson, we're going to know the difference about images, about like the extension of the image, like for example, dot JPEG, dot PNG, and more stuff. Okay, so let's start. So the first one, what is a JPEG file? Well, probably you haven't seen this a million times, but probably you're not worrying about what this is sound for, just because sometimes we just be like, okay, so P, you, you know, it's a PNG, so JPE file um, and stuff like that. So the JPEG stands for the Joint Photographic Expert Group. And we all know probably this is a, not probably, it is a standard image format which means that is our image that ends with the JPEG or, uh, yeah, yeah, we're going to keep talking about that later. Um, so the term refer to a type of compression that make images files smaller. Okay. So this is when things, um, image come to a problem. So you create a website, right? So when you create your website, you literally want to use image to make your website look fantastic. Okay. So you want to make your website look awesome. You want to use this, all these images. However, probably if you use a, like a really high quality image will definitely make your website super slow. Okay. So your website might be slow and guess what? As I mentioned with the last lesson, you got three seconds to combine your, you know, the user to stay in your website. And I mean that if your website is not fast enough, we'll definitely, they will go, just go back. Okay. So this is compare, you know, it's a smaller component to um, the raw files that are taken by high end digital cameras. And I'm talking about like those, you know, those Canon, which is probably half 5,000 pixel or more. We're going to talk about that later. Okay. So the JPEG use a photo and compass graphic. What does that mean? It is, you know, it literally uses like, like format because again, you want to use this type of image because they are smaller and okay. And don't take me wrong when I say they are smaller. It doesn't mean, um, I don't mean the, well, Yes, I mean the side, but I don't mean like the, the, um, how would you call that? I would say the, how we look like the size, like for example, um, it's not like it's going just like this. It's not like you're changing like from big to a small, it most like, uh, you changing the quality of the things and you make the picture smaller. Okay. So, um, this type of file does not support transparencies. Like, uh, um, you will see the difference between that one and the PNG and the files are smaller for more efficient web pages, as I mentioned before, and it's not support for animation. So sometimes you have an image and you want to animate it for whatever reason, you know, depends on the website that you are creating. So let's, we'll go to the PNG file. So this one is stands for portable graphic format. It does support transparencies. Like uh, you can see on um, the transparent background, we will see that as well. Uh, the transparent background is used a lot for logos. Okay. So, you know, you have your logo and probably your logo is on top of a white or black background. And you want to show your logo on your website, especially like on the corner, like uh, when you go into a website and they probably have the logo in this side on the left side on top, you want something to have like a, a, a transparent background. You don't want something to, to pose it and then show you like the whole thing, uh, with the background color. Okay. So, and again, it's great for tests and screenshots just because when you take a screenshot and on your computer is literally like no background, it's faster and smaller. Okay. Um, as I mentioned before, you want to use the PNG for images with solid color logos 
and you know if you have like a square and triangle and stuff like that uh, and again just because you just want the shape you don't want to look like the whole background and you probably be like okay so what will be my background well your website background will be using as a background to sh display the shapes or logo that you want to display on your on your web page okay so and again um this give you the opportunity like to place your logo anywhere you want without you have to go back and change the um the logo the background you know the color of the background of the logo all right so for example if you have a logo and it has a background red and you have i don't know you have your website that has a, a white background now you have your logo which is have which is on top of a red background and your website has a white background and you need to put that on top of that but besides white your website is built you know it's using white and yellow and purple color let's say but now you adding that red color on top of that you know it doesn't make any sense so there are different type of png png 8 png 24 and png 32 um to be honest with you it wouldn't it, it it doesn't mean that because you use a 24 or 32 is it, going to be it's going to um, make your website um, slow. It just uh, or like, uh, you know, a mil um, it's like a type of flavor. OK, we're going to get into that later as well. And finally, is the GIF, which is the GIF uh, files. They don't use this at the moment anymore like uh, not everybody use this anymore um, they're using it on cell phones right do you know if you have WhatsApp if you're using Instagram if you any social media you probably might see a session down there that is called GIF and those little images is like a three seconds of a little video I would not even say yeah three seconds something like that about three seconds um, you know, for example, if you have any, if you have one of those and you want to show someone that probably you don't care something and this is how you do it, you know, you probably be like showing a GIF, just doing this for three seconds. It's not a video. It's just an image that has three seconds. Okay. So it is short for graphics. Um, I mean, graphic interchange format. It is an image format, of course which means that is something that, it, that is image that GIF. And it represents images with up to 256 different colors. And it use so uh, the, the quality of the image is not perfect. Again, um, it's something that if you go ahead and see it on your phone right now, it's something that it will not look too clear. It's not that bad. For the purpose of what you're trying to do but it's also not good to just add it in your website and hope to make it you know hope to make your website look beautiful let's say it would definitely take that um that flavor um out of your website right so people don't use it anymore they used to they used to use it a lot though um when probably they were doing math in you know some website that have some math operations and they were using this thing for just to represent some shape like jumping around or just like adding numbers you know like you if you add four plus four and then they get together and poof it's like an eight so you will use a gif to to show that and it was supposed to look fun though i don't know probably it probably look fun though but yes uh this is usually how you give some life to your website so now let's try um we're going to be trying some of these files here in the next lesson and i hope you enjoyed this one